This is a loud bird. We should name her Miss Loudy. Just let her do the talking. Really? Oh, she's gonna fly away. Hope she don't poop on me. Please don't, please don't poop on me. All right, I think that's it for enough, enough of her. Wait. All right, here goes the journey. Um, this is my studio and office and even my bedroom. Uh, I'm gonna go out this back door right here. This is the back door. This is the front door of my bedroom, studio, office. And I'm gonna go out the back door. All right, so that area is my, that's my patio on the back of my studio. Okay, but now we're gonna go over here. This has always been storage, and this has always been storage, but it's about to be a chicken coop. And I'm gonna have some area for the chickens to graze. All right, we are at another stage here in development. We have a the floor of a chicken coop. I got some pallets for uh, free uh, that are four foot by eight foot long. I'm gonna use one for the floor, one for the back, one for the front, maybe one for the top. A little bit more progress made. Now it looks like a big bench or a big stage but uh, I took one of the other pallets and I set it up on top. This is eight feet long, four feet tall. And I put another support back there underneath it in the middle. And I give the chickens a little place to scratch in the shade underneath. All right, uh, this is a little update on the chicken coop. Uh, if you look behind me, you see there's the platform right there. And here's the front and here's the back. And I decided to cut them at an angle so that I could put a roof where the water would run off and into a rain barrel. All right, I got some stuff in place, finally. The, uh, the front is now connected to the back and the floor down there. It slants so I can put a roof on it, um, chicken coop. Let me back up so you can see it. It's up on stilts, it's slanted. It's going to have a roof. It's looking pretty good. Got to clean up my area and call it a day because it looks like it's about to rain. Okay, we got a little bit more progress on the chicken coop. Right here we have three ventilation holes with some hardware cloth in there. And if you come around to this side, it's not closed up yet. You can see I put in three uh, perches. I put them all at the same height so that they don't have to squawk about which one's higher and which one's lower. I know that chickens like to fight over um, hierarchy or rank or height in the chicken coop. I don't know. So they don't have to fight about it. They're all three the same height. I can't remember what I said last uh, update, but now I have a uh, nesting box. It's pretty big, way bigger than the chicken probably needs, uh, but that's just the way it measured out. I don't know if I had these in there before, but I've got some roost and now I have a back wall or an end wall down there and it's in two halves, the top half and the bottom half. And I can take out like eight screws. I can take out four screws on the bottom and use it to rake out uh, when I clean it, just rake it out or I can undo the top and the bottom pretty easily and have the whole wall opened up for ventilation, air, um, for clean out and all that kind of stuff. Um, just a, kind of a makeshift wall. Let me go around that side and show you. So it's just planks, almost just like this. These are some fence boards. And there's a screw right here 
one down there one down here somewhere right there one over on the other end so I can take this part off with just four screws or I can take this part off with just four screws um, and clean it out I'm gonna put some um, ventilation holes right there and then I think that end will be good I still got to cut a door for them to get out of on this side and make uh, I'm gonna make two doors here one for cleaning this out and one for getting the eggs out so I think it'll be pretty cool when I'm done and then I gotta put the roof on it all right more later all right I bought these two by threes eight feet long so I can make a pin around my chicken coop and I have coated them in Thompson's water sealer so I, <clears throat> I pre pre-treated them with Thompson's water sealer I've got several of them that I've done hopefully they'll last all right we got a little bit more progress made this is underneath the chicken coop and what I have done is I have put some uh, hardware cloth half inch uh, hardware cloth back here and then instead of I kind of ran out of hardware cloth so instead of putting hardware cloth on the ends which is what I intended to do I decided to just kind of board it up and I've got some fence boards and I'm gonna put some scrap hardware cloth down here at the bottom to kind of seal up that gap and keep other critters from digging under uh, so let me back up and show you what the whole thing looks like um, doesn't look a whole lot different uh, from out here maybe from over here you might see uh, where I boarded it up I cut a board to fit between those two bricks just right and put a couple little studs to hold it there um, in the back I've got some brick that are holding the hardware cloth down on this side I'm gonna put some over there you can also see probably right there the wire that uh, is kind of folded out and against the ground to keep animals from digging under uh, and I'm gonna put some brick on top of that as well all right, I'm really proud of this little chicken door. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but there's gonna be a fence around all of this out here, and so I won't be able to get to the chicken door. So what I've done is created like a little lever and plexiglass door system that goes up and down, hooks on this little hook right here. If you undo it, then the door slides up and down. I even, I even routed a little groove for the bolt right there to slide in and out of. What do you think? All right, another update. We got the pin attached. I put the large uh, four by four posts for the base. Originally I wasn't gonna do that, but I decided that was the best way to go. Give it a nice uh, sturdy base. And I'm gonna put chicken wire that goes this way, kind of folds against the ground so they can't dig under. Once I get the uh, wire on it, there's the wire down there. Once I get the wire on it, I should have a functional chicken pen and chicken coop. And it needs to happen pretty fast because supposedly the chickens have been shipped from their uh, hatchery today. Uh, so they should be here in about three days in the mail, getting chickens in the mail. Another update later. Uh, I'm starting to build the, the, I've already built the fence. I think I did something about that. Um, the structure, now I'm putting the chicken wire on it. 
and uh, we also already have the chicks if you look there is a little little hole for them to come out of which we'll open up later on they've been in the in a little temporary brooder for a little while and now they're in this coop staying nice and warm um, I'm gonna put some more light in here probably later on so you can see them all the way back there in the dark got them a little feather duster for I don't know staying warm or thinking it's their mom or something I don't know what you want to call it and there's usually some water bottles right here and food bottle water bottle and food bottle but my 10 year old decided that all the way down there where we can't reach them is a better place She'll be going in there to get them before too long and uh, <clears throat> filling them up for them. But anyway, there's the coop so far. I'm going to make a better lock than that. Uh, this part right here lets down for clean out. Right now I'm putting the wire and I'm using, I'm using what's called a half inch hard, uh, hardware cloth. Uh, it's got smaller holes so uh, rats and mice don't go in and out and eat the food and terrorize the chickens at night. Um, there'll be a little bit along the ground to keep things from digging under, stuff like that. There are 10 chicks in here and I'm going to open it up, get the little night light going. And we have all ten chicks sleeping together. They are so cute. So, yeah. Here we are. Not 100% done. Not 100% done, but really close. We have chicken wire across the top. We have chicken wire all around the sides. We have a little ramp for the chickies to get up. We have a handle on the door. We have hardware cloth buried in the ground around it to keep predators out, keep them from digging. You can see a little bit of it right there along the edge. It's buried up under there um, and kind of comes out this way, all the way around it, uh, even in the back. We got a little handle right here where we can do the door up and down, but uh, we're not going to do that yet because they are not quite ready to come out. And even if they are, I'm going to wait and let my daughters do it. Uh, that is the coop so far. Here's the handle. Uh, I gotta work on these bricks because it's stuck, but it's big enough for me to get in. And let's go to the inside. You can see up above me, I got plenty of chicken wire to catch the leaves <laughs> and keep predators out, I hope. Um, got some ventilation. Uh, I'm going to try and clean up some of this stuff. I might even put some trim around it just to clean everything up, make it look tidier. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of space between all of the slats, so it's not airtight or anything. Just a place to keep them dry, I guess. Uh, give them a place to sleep. Here's one. He's ready to come out of there. He wants to go explore. Or she wants to come exploring. Excuse me. She. They should be all hens. Okay, they are all right um, this comes up using this little arm which I can open from the outside and come back out here I still gotta clean up my backyard now that I've made a big mess let me back up so you can see the whole thing so I got a bunch of junk over here I gotta clean up I got a bunch of junk over here I gotta clean up this is the backyard area and uh, and that's the coop. Uh, a simple job made much more difficult. Well, this might be a little bit early to be letting them out. Uh, they're still young, uh, but I thought, eh, fresh air. The coop's finished, or pretty well finished. They could just get out here and play. And I think they like it. A little bit of free room. We're gonna see what they can do. All right, another little update on the chicken coop. Uh, they are getting around in the bottom. I don't know if you can see any of them in there. 
but they're getting around down there a little bit. They're hiding up under this in there in the shade. Um, this I know looks like some really fine flooring uh, on the bottom of this chicken coop, but in fact, it is some eight. It was a piece of eight by six linoleum that's waterproof and pet friendly. And I put it down on here so that I cut it to fit. It's like 28 inches wide and eight feet long. So I cut it uh, down this edge and laid it in there. It'll, it'll settle right here where it's kind of bowing up. It'll settle and it'll be fine. And after, uh, when I need to clean out the coop, I can just drag all the wood chips down. They're usually kind of matted to the floor anyway. I can just drag this down, take it out in the yard, hose it off put it back and put fresh chips on it. I just got the whole uh, coop kind of set up and I opened the door back up so that they could get in. And as you can see, it's uh, almost, maybe a little bit after five, they are now making their way into the chicken coop on their own. Well, most of them did. There's still a few, a few stragglers down here. All right, little update. Um, this is the coop as I've gotten it so far. Um, I've got a little owl up here to, at the top to uh, scare off um, predators. I got a little hand sanitizer bottle. Uh, I don't know if y'all have seen this yet, but I've got um, a water bucket underneath there. I've got a food bucket. And as you can see right there, I've got chickens waiting to get out um, so we're going to open the door and watch them fly they love getting out in the morning as you can imagine here we go it's like a breakout good morning good morning chickens they're hungry. They're all hungry this morning. Let's go in here and see what's going on with them. Let's see if they got enough food. How y'all doing on food, girls? Oh, they need food. Look at that. Totally empty. All right, they are ready to get out of that chicken coop. It is just a little bit before dawn. The sun is coming up, and I'm about to let them out so they can get something to drink and eat. All right, that's it. Uh, I got a chicken coop, I got chickens. Uh, there's gonna be a little update or a part two to this video when I show you my uh, daughter's coop in the front yard that we've also been working on and not filming. Uh, when I get that done, I'll just do a little uh, show off. Anyway, that's it, it's your turn. Go get some chickens.